so I wanted to do a quick video looking at um, the differences in styluses with the devices that I have. And um, the Supernote A5X, the, the one I use with this is, is the Heart of Metal pen with this ceramic nib. Um, and I was just going to compare that with my Max Lumi, the book's Max Lumi, perhaps give you some idea of the differences um, involved. And I wanted to talk about the two different styluses as well that I have for the book's device, namely the Lamy and the standard one, because um, I have a different view about this pen than, than others like Voya. Uh, but first to the Supernote A5X, because what you get with the Supernote is, if you like, a complete package. It's um, it's a fairly unique, let's use the template I created in the previous video. Oh, what's going on here? It's slow. Um, get a complete package because of the philosophy. It's a very hard ceramic nib. Lasts forever. You don't need to replace it. Um, and this has a very unique screen cover that bends in when you're going over it. And it creates a fluid motion and I've been doing a little bit of analysis and looking a little bit at uh, the phenomenon of um, Japanese calligraphy writing um, and it's closely tied with uh, some philosophical trends which relate to superiority of uh, the, the fluid stroke. I have no idea if that played a part in the development of those of this device and, and a, you know an understanding of how it should feel but if you have a look on their web page particularly about the a5x they want something that feels optimal when it comes to the ceramic edge and the way that maps onto the screen in other words these two belong together if i use the the books um, the books pen uh, you'll see oops oh, that's a slightly horrendously thick pen, you will see that it will work, but it doesn't feel satisfying. It feels almost like uh, the Apple pen on the Apple screen. It's quite slippery. It's not pressing in, um, but I will come to this pen later on because I think it's fantastic. Um, but these these map on perfectly. The feel it is difficult to describe. I there there is ever such a slight resistance if you hold the pen fairly lightly and not you know you don't dig down because then the way the screen works if you're pressing in too hard you can um, it can uh, it can create an uncomfortable experience frankly because there's too much resistance but if you hold it fairly lightly in just the right kind of way then the writing experience is just delightful I haven't tried the remarkable one or two so I can't compare but this has a very unique flowing feel which nevertheless has a bit of grip and a bit of resistance in a way that you wouldn't find with the Apple Pen. Um, I've only got the first Apple Pen, but you know they're basically the same Apple Pen 1 and 2. Um, so uh, this is effectively highly recommended as a complete package. Now, to the books. Okay, the first thing to say about the books Max Lumi is that it isn't a ready to go device when you open up the package. The screen protector that comes with it, I've spoken about in a previous video, it's so cloudy it actually disturbs your ability to read clearly and it's of course, as others have pointed out in other videos, it's very difficult to apply. So I, I took it off, it um, didn't do anything, it made the device worse in, as far as I'm concerned. But I did purchase the and this is the the ESR uh, screen protector for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 
and it's the anti-glare one. Um, and I can highly recommend this. Not only is it much easier to put on, it's much clearer and provides a scratchier feel to the screen, which is something very different from the Superno and um, uh, will be, for some, preferable. So those things needed to be added. The, the standard pen that it comes with. Voya has strongly criticised this pen, and I've got to say, I, I just disagree. I think the nib uh, works well. It's nicely pointed, so you feel as though you have a sense of um, of precision. The eraser I prefer over the, the Lamy pen, because if I'm writing something here, I just turn it over and rub it out. With the uh, with the Lamy, when I'm when I'm writing and there's a mistake, you've you've got to find the button here, and it's not very visible, so I have to sometimes pick it up here right now, click it, and and undo my the damage, you know. Uh, but this, you just simply turn it over and press it on the screen, and it works fine. Um, and I, I like the feel of it. It's the tr sort of triangular one rather than the circular one, and it doesn't have a cheap and tacky feel to it. In terms of weight, it's approximately the same weight as the Lamy pen, um, and, and feels good in the hands. I, I think this is a good pen. However, there is one reason why I use the Lamy pen over this one, despite the fact that I prefer the eraser function with this pen, namely the nib. So I've replaced the Lamy nib, the, the stock one, which felt slippery over, over this device, and replaced it with the uh, the Wacom uh, pen nib, the, the felt one, which is the white one. I'll put a link in the video description. Because when you couple that felt nib with the, uh, the ESR screen protector, you get a really lovely scratchy feel to it, a good sound. Um, there's a good grip. You can glide over the, the screen easily but there is a delightful little bit of resistance there. Totally different feel from the Super Note, and I think it probably just comes down to preference. And honestly, there are some days I prefer writing on this, and other days I prefer writing on the Super Note. Um, so it will entirely depend. See, here I am having to look for the, the eraser button. Right, there it is. Um, it'll just depend on, on your mood. But I would recommend highly the coupling of the ASR screen protector and the Wacom white felt nib. The stock uh, nib that comes in the books pen is absolutely fine and, and works well on the screen itself and has a nice scratchy feel over the ESR screen protector but not quite the same resistance um, as provided by the Wacom nibs. The Vacuum, I think it's a German com company, I should probably pronounce it a little bit different. So that's my take, anyway, on these two pens. Obviously you cannot use the Heart of Metal pen on this because you could damage the screen. This ceramic nib is designed for using with this device. So, that's my take on the pens. <laughs>
slight resistance there, but it's far more um, fluid as a motion. And this isn't, again, this isn't an exact comparison, but the Max Lumi with the vacuum pen nib and the ESR screen, I would compare to having a single sheet of paper against cardboard. Now, if I'm to lay that down and then use a blunt lead pencil, that more closely corresponds to the feel um, uh, with the Max Lumi. Uh, so maybe maybe try those out. That will give you some idea of the kind of differences, the feel, and might make you make a better decision what suits you. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Um, don't hesitate to ask a question in the comments about these devices, and I'll, I'll try and get to that. Hope you have a good Easter break, those of you who are going to be celebrating Easter, and otherwise I'll see you in a later video.